Alright, yes, you read the title. I'll be combining math and art into one. Okay, a technique that combines both maths and art into one. Now, okay, um, okay, let me just talk about art first. Okay, before I go on to maths. So, art. Now, there are so many kind of styles. Art. There's some um, reference drawing, which is basically my art style. Basically, reference drawing is when you take something from anywhere. For example, you take a ball and you try and draw it okay referencing okay so you take a ball maybe you put it on a table and on a paper on a phone or whatever you start to draw it okay it's kind of similar to realistic drawing except um well reference drawing can be for anything you can even draw stuff like anime like pikachu and all my other videos they are from animes um Realistic drawing is basically more towards like an apple. So you put an apple on a table and you know you try and sketch it like the exact same way. It's just another almost sketching, the kind of art style, realistic drawing, art style, um animating. It's something like an art style, but instead it's moving pictures, okay? Um abstract. So basically you know you go to a museum, art museum and you see, you know, some colours they put together randomly to create some I don't know some picture okay let me do for you an extract okay um, for example here's some black over here <laughs> now I'm just making fun of this okay of course the artist has got a lot but I don't know maybe something like this and then I don't know some other colors down here and it's all into one canvas but I've got no idea what it's trying to portray so that's why I never really looked into abstract art. Now, realistic art is very, very difficult. Okay, to me, okay, some of you may find it easy, like pfft, it's super easy, okay. But no, to me, it's extremely hard, okay. So yeah, I never really kind of looked into it so much. Now, animation, I did kind of do it for a little while, but I didn't like it. So the funny story about this is, okay, at when I was doing animation. At the same time, I was also drawing things like this, okay, Pikachu. Now, I've done a bunch of other drawings, okay. I've done, um, well, I've done mainly from the anime Beyblade, but not, I haven't really touched on to Pokemon yet, okay. So, yeah, that's why I can actually upload my videos fast, because I've already done the drawings. I'm just learning how to redraw them again, okay. So, everything, you know, this, um, it's basically second nature to me okay i've already drawn them and i'm just relearning how to do it again that's why my videos upload faster okay now um reference drawing as i said if basically when something is something like realistic drawing um place something on a table you're trying to copy it yeah basically kind of like copying but you have to add in your own features so that's cool okay yeah okay so that's why adding in the lightning bolt over here if you can guess you see yeah i know the dot method isn't really so helpful right now but i mean you see the bigger picture right it's eyes um the cheeks kind of thing and his body is over here the legs uh, okay i can see but not so sure okay now, um, before that, okay, now before I go into this, let me talk about maths, okay, so I'm going to kind of like divide it, okay, so we're going to go into this phase, okay, now, uh, maths, of course, there's so many topics out there, okay, there's from algebra all the way to calculus, there's so many topics, okay, even, I can't even list all of them, now, there was one topic that was really, really good at, and it's actually, congruence and similarity now um okay i'm not sure when i learned to this within junior high or high okay i'm not really so sure but for those of you who have learned it then well i guess good for you um if you want you can just skip to the duration of the screen right now okay you can just skip to this point okay uh because from now until whatever time that's on the screen I'll basically be teaching those who haven't learned about congruence and similarity, alright? So it's quite an important chapter for me because when I was doing this, I learned how to draw using my own art style, okay? Now, I'm not saying that 
Okay, basically my art style is just dots and you're gonna connect them, okay? Now I'm not saying that I invented this art style, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's actually an actual name for this art style but I mean I went on to Google and I didn't find it so um, yeah I guess I guess I kind of combined them okay now um, for me I've okay let's see how do I rephrase this okay now for me um, I've never had this vision that you know I can just see things you know um, when I look at this paper when I look at blank, blank paper and then you know I just see the whole layout the whole outline on the canvas itself and I know how to draw no I'm not that kind of I don't have that kind of artistic view okay no for me it's basically been combining math and art so that's why reference drawing was one of the easiest okay so um okay let's talk about it so maths congruence and similarity okay basically if well I mean you're doing this in a school okay I'm just change to black first okay um let's talk about it so if you're doing this in the school work okay maybe like an assignment or homework or whatever okay it's basically let me just use a paintbrush okay oh this is a bit too big um let's reduce the size down okay 24. okay now um so you're doing this like maybe in a school project or something or maybe a school work um i don't know maybe they give you an object like I don't know maybe like this okay well of course first they would actually um okay first they would combine it for you of course uh, this is gonna be straight like that I'm gonna curve it for you like this okay um something like this okay then um okay I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this word or I don't know maybe your country has some different um word for it or something like that okay but basically sf okay um the scale factor okay now important thing about this is that because when i'm reference drawing right um okay for me it doesn't really help because when i'm reference drawing the picture is basically on my um laptop and i'm drawing on my phone because well my laptop is on touch screen and as i said recommend you to use i'll recommend you to use a touch screen device if you're going to draw so so my laptop i've picked up from some episode maybe episode one episode two whatever episode okay and it's on my laptop right here and i want to draw it to my phone now when i look at it we say i just place my phone on my laptop the mouse pad area over here and i just look and i kind of shrink it down now there's going to be a lot of mental work okay i'm not okay you won't actually really draw grids and you know compare it to your phone no 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 you're not going to do all that okay now basically there's going to be a lot of imaginative okay so scale factor does do um enlargement or e and reduction r okay so enlargement basically but well, i mean this is a good thing for you kids we haven't even learned or heard this topic yet i'm going to teach you something okay so you're going to be quite advanced in your class for this topic only. okay so for enlargement there are um when you can enlarge your image okay for example this is the original image okay you're going to call it o okay and now maybe the question says enlarge the original image here um maybe by a skill factor of two or four six five three one no not really one no because if scale factor is one then basically means we're going to replicate the entire thing okay for example um okay let's do something easy first okay let's not do this okay um let's do maybe a rectangle okay now um imagine this is going to be Okay, imagine we're going to use um, enlargement scale factor 2. So, okay, maybe this is going to be 2 units. Um, 1 unit. Of course, since a rectangle, so length, there are 2 lengths, so it's going to be 2 unit. And 1 unit. Now, okay, now, 
enlargement of scale factor enlargement of 2 basically means that you're going to turn this okay into times 2 times 2 of everything so the size is going to basically become double okay so basically going to be um i guess it's double so one unit you times it by two so it's going to become two units now two units and two units is basically going to be four units and of course it's going to be four and well it's going to be two oops okay like this right now um reduction it's basically the opposite okay now why i say that enlargement usually they don't give you a one because so you say right so enlargement two basically means scale factor enlargement of two times basically means you're going to times two to everything right so if they so the scale factor is going to be enlargement of one basically means that they're going to enlarge going to times everything by one so one times one is going to be one two times one is going to be two 1 times 1, 1, and 2 times 1, 2. Basically, it means it's going to be the exact same shape, exact same size, okay? Now, um, this value what I'm trying to show, times thing by 2, okay, scale factor, it's um, usually meant for similarity. So, they are similar, okay? They are the same shape. I mean, sorry, I, mean, I thought this is supposed to be a straight line, but... I uh, don't have my ruler right now. This is a rough idea, okay? It's not drawn to scale, okay? So, um, the same shape, just that it's bigger. Now, reduction would basically be fraction. So, it could be half, um, one third, one sixth, one seventh, okay? Anything, okay? Um, reduction cannot be a negative, okay? Now this is just some extra information, okay? You don't actually need this for drawing, okay? But if you, if you haven't learned about this, then it's good, okay? Now reduction cannot be a negative. Okay, this is how confusing that was on there because the line over here could be like a negative half, negative two. Okay, no, this was an error, okay? So half, okay, what I'm saying that uh, skill reduction, skill factor reduction cannot be negative because Okay, you see, um, imagine there's a point down here, right? Okay, and maybe there's a point down here, and you've got a point down here. Now, if you've heard of a number line, I think most of you should have the number line or something like this. So, maybe over here you got one, over here you got two, and so on. Positive numbers, right? And over here, it's going to be zero. Okay, basically the middle point, okay? Then always going to be negative 1, um, negative 2, and so on, okay? Alright, now, when you are drawing something like this, so, okay, when you are drawing an object like this, a shape, whatever, square, rectangle, it's even a straight line, okay? Note that if you're going to draw a straight line, it isn't the same as a number line, okay? A number line is a number line, a straight line is a straight line, okay? They're two different things. So, this way, if you're going to say maybe this is um one unit, okay? This way, it's also going to be one unit. So, basically, this two combined, this whole line is going to be two units, okay? Now... If you have a negative value line, um, there's actually well no way to draw it. Even they're gonna say, yeah, I can just draw it down like this. No, it's still gonna be one unit. Okay. We go one unit and one unit is a basic square. Okay. So scale factor you cannot have a negative value. If a negative value then um I have no idea what to say, but I know that I'm right. Okay. Now um scale factor reduction can actually be any number that's below zero but it's okay it's um it can be zero point anything can be zero point one or so it can be zero point zero 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 one to zero point nine 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 okay so it can be any of those so but usually of course it's gonna be like half one third one six one seventh 
and all that okay two fifth three fifth um uh, four fifth um um four where does half um maybe four or seven something okay but i mean of course if you're in school then yeah they should make it easy like half one foot okay now um okay so basically once you have nailed the whole skill factor thing it isn't actually so important for reference drawing but you have to somewhat get the idea okay um so for my laptop you're looking at a picture right and maybe from an episode so maybe um okay let me just okay for example the scenario over here okay so imagine this part this x over here is your character maybe let's say pikachu okay and okay imagine this is your whole screen right okay imagine this is the whole screen okay then you know, let me just okay, okay imagine this is your whole screen um i don't know, maybe your laptop your tv or whatever you're using okay and maybe over here in one of the scenes okay that you really like and you want to draw it reference drawing um maybe your let's see okay, maybe your target is over here okay the one that you want to draw mark him in an x okay and maybe over here they are sceneries like like trees and sun or whatever okay depends now over here if you want to look at it okay and you want to draw it you have to make sure that you understand is it going to be a reduction or enlargement okay of course if you look at it and it's really really small then common sense kicks in it's going to be enlargement if it's really really big like for example it takes up the whole computer screen okay i'm talking about this i'm talking about the whole computer screen okay then everything yeah okay then of course if you're going to join a phone it's going to be a reduction a slightly reduction okay i mean you're going to reduce it slightly okay it also depends on how big your phone is so you're going to use a tablet then um well i mean depends tablet it's still smaller than a computer screen so yeah reduce it if you are somehow miraculously drawing it on the tv i would really want that tv brand first of all and second of all um if you're drawing a tv then well i guess i'm gonna enlarge it because a laptop screen and a tv screen um they aren't really wait a laptop yeah for sure okay so my laptop screen is a lot smaller than my tv screen so yeah okay so that's a basic kind of thing okay you don't actually really need to know the two units or four units unless you really insist that you want to draw using grips then yeah be my guest you can use grids if you want but actually not necessary and or you don't need grids you can just use some imagination okay all right so something like this okay i did not use any grids or anything i just used a bit of um no sense okay so for example this is drawn on my phone and i just upload it on my computer okay now this is exactly the same pikachu that was actually drawn in my previous video if you haven't look at it then please check it out okay so over here um now you see there's a lot of abstracts around here and there's some lines are happening like this you must think of what's going on but first first of all have something have the reference object you, you can even like you know split screen your computer and on one side maybe half side of here is going to be pikachu this for example okay this is going to be actual pikachu down here and the other half is going to be your own drawing okay keep some kind of reference it. then you understand that this part actually over here is going to be the torso area so i mean yeah kind of like the body area then this is going to connect on to the arms this circle part over here is going to be the cheeks it's red part over here and this will be the leg and this will be the tail area this would be its ears the eyes nose and mouth hands and the lightning part that's going to be over here okay all right okay so if you understand this uh this is basically a very general walkthrough on the topic congruence and similarity okay but basically the, the main thing is that first of all skills factor um not really about the numbers but more about whether is it going to be enlargement or reduction
okay um next is more about the drawing part okay so common sense if okay so for common sense it basically it means that if your reference image the actual image is on a big screen and you want to join on a small screen then you have to reduce it but of course you're going to use a ruler you're going to have to measure everything okay um there are no actual numbers that i'm not saying that you must you know reduce it by half or by one third no it's towards your liking and depends on your canvas size now if your reference image is on a small screen and you want to draw it on a big screen on a big canvas then yeah you gotta enlarge it okay so now when doing this chapter okay when you look at this i just drew it like this right i didn't put in dots no nothing i just drew it now just because this is super easy okay come on just a rectangle but i mean i don't think so that they're going to give you such an easy shape so i don't know maybe the shape may be something like this um goes down like this then uh, yeah i guess something like this so for example it goes down like this it goes up it goes down like this let me try to okay of course use a ruler okay don't do freehand like this i'm a terrible freehand drawer oops mm. yeah something like this okay or whatever shape they may give you i'm not so sure so uh best part of the time like this do what i just did okay so for example this is the actual image that they give you right the straight line it's perfect and everything right this is the shape that's printed on or you could say that this is the original shape now um okay so you guys know slither io you know that game where you know your snake and you go out eating some glowy stuff i'm not so sure what they're called actually i haven't played the game um, i just heard about it okay so um basically this is going to be the original shape right and now they will ask you to draw something else oops i dropped something and they also draw an image of it okay that's basically um your drawing okay so original shape is going to be the actual shape and i is going to be your image it's going to be your your own drawing okay so for example um your original shape is on the laptop full screen okay now you want to draw your original shape on your phone okay maybe on a tablet okay now your tablet is smaller than your laptop screen so you are definitely going to use your reduction okay skill factor is going to be reduction number it doesn't really matter okay as long as you know it's going to be enlargement or reduction okay so your image it's going to be a reduction because i'm going to join your phone so um yeah so let's say maybe you want to draw something like this you're going to reduce it oops okay so instead of going out such a long way you maybe like this and then maybe like this something like this okay so it's somewhat about there here it's supposed to be sharp like this um, okay but you see it's somewhat about there and this is going to be your eye shape okay this is going to be your image this is going to be your drawing okay now um important things to take note of okay because when you are drawing a okay because when you're drawing something that's um identical right in every drawing there's guides there are posts to make sure that you are drawing correctly okay um so at some points okay for example like this okay and the bottom part is going to be like something like this okay now for example if it's going to be like this kind of drawing okay i thought it's going to be super obvious okay where do i stop you're going to stop over here because this part over here so you're going to make it sharp and connect so at this part over here a triple down okay 
Now, these are the kind of things to know whether are you doing it right or are you doing it wrong. Okay, now, okay, for some of my videos, you can watch actually maybe all of them except for the canopy one. Okay, not really so much on the canopy, but for most of them, the sharp points down here are usually pointed the same way. So, supposed to be pointing this way. So, supposed to be something like this. Oops. Okay, so some point something like this. Okay, now these are the kind of things to look at to make sure that you are doing your artwork correctly. Okay, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, so just to summarize, okay, the things that you okay, the things that you just have to take note of if you're just going to do reference drawing. Okay, it's basically um, first of all, scale factor enlargement or reduction. You don't need to know the value, okay? You just need to know whether are you going to enlarge it or are you going to reduce it, okay? Um, yeah, image and original. Basically, original is going to be, well, the original from the anime or from whatever. And image is basically going to be yours. So, do you need to reduce your image size or do you need to enlarge your image size? Depending on what you're using. If you're using a tablet, Okay, for example, if you're using a tablet to draw and your original size is on a laptop, then of course going to reduce it. Okay, now, um, of course, if you are kind of using a split screen, so basically half half, I wouldn't actually recommend you do that, but if you want, you could. Okay, so because when you divide your screen, okay, um, yeah, it's not really that recommended to use it, okay, because when you divide your screen, you're basically making it small, and you want to actually make it big. So, um, yeah, that's why most artists, they don't draw on one side, they draw on the whole canvas. That's why you have a big canvas, and you can draw a bigger image, so, you know, it's more detailed, okay. Now, first course, when I say um, a big canvas, I don't actually really mean a super big canvas that you know you draw a I don't know you have a canvas size of 10,000 by 10,000 no um, the canvas size that I'm using it's 1100 by 1100 is a square shape okay now I don't actually like to use um, rectangular shape canvas because I just don't like it I like it square shaped okay now it depends on what you like okay so basically yeah that is it for the maths part okay now i'm already going to now i've already drawn this part i mean i already have drawn this because i'm going to stop the video right now i'm going to draw it and i'm going to come back okay um so for those of you who skipped i i mean for those of you who have stayed i guess i would see you with those who skipped yep okay okay so i'm back okay so for those of you who skipped the earlier part um yeah i mean you're watching this now but uh actually i just want to say that there's not much to talk about right now okay so i just want to list out a very few there's a few important things okay they're very very important okay so first i know we look in this drawing okay some parts are not completed um so basically it's going to connect them okay it's going to be something like this okay of course then also with something like this okay no it's going much better okay Let's draw it up and okay. So I know it looks a little bit um weird, but that's basically how I do it for the very first time, okay? So yeah. When you're doing it for the first time, it won't look like much, okay? It will look terrible, it will look horrible, but that's actually a good thing because first you're going to connect all the lines together, okay? Now, basically gives you a rough idea on how your image is going to look like. So, for those of you who skipped, basically very simple object as original and image. Original is the one 
the actual one for example the anime or I don't know something okay and the image is basically what you are drawing okay so the image is going to look terrible at the very first time okay but after that what you're going to do is you're basically going to touch up um then you're going to add in you're going to basically going to go feel and touch up okay now that's basically the ending process on how i do my drawings okay so yeah it does take quite a lot of work especially the um places where i'm going to point dots now i know for those of you who actually saw this part um yeah basically this will be very simple because it's rectangle and it's just a shape like this okay but when you're actually drawing this like a pikachu like this okay this considered as simple all right that's why i picked pikachu but for example um pegasus all right if you watch my pegasus video you know that's actually quite big okay pegasus isn't too bad because yeah it may look big but it is pretty simple actually it's just the abstract part is big the the face of the horse okay the pegasus it's simple too okay now i have some other um okay for example in the beginning i showed you um charizard right want a picture of charizard so yeah that's actually if you want to use a dot method which i actually use for that it's going to take a long time to actually pinpoint the location right so um i would say that doing the dots is the hardest part but connecting dots is going to be easy touching up is the easiest and of course adding the colors uh, the background effect then especially just to create the thumbnail okay um now okay the reason why i say that it's good to just do this original part first is another reason because if you don't like it for example um you don't like the hands to be together down here okay or for example you don't like the lightning location maybe you want to move it up if you're going to delete it okay yeah that's fine sure you're just going to delete it all right it's not like you know you spent a lot of time you know carefully doing the lightning symbol okay no it's just super quick so you know it won't be a hard pain if you're going to erase it okay so that's another reason but uh yeah that's basically the main two reasons why i do it because well i mean i don't want to spend too long doing this and only to realize that maybe i don't like this position i think and have to redo everything okay no so yeah now um important things first okay um first i'll be using this method a dot method for my upcoming video um leon rock leon i've already drawn the outline now i'm just gonna have to do my color adding the special effects uh maybe the the aura i'm just gonna stick to a simple green okay because um well as you know today is already sunday and the video is supposed to be out by monday okay i don't think get out by monday maybe by tuesday yeah i think by tuesday okay so pokemon video may also be a little bit delayed maybe on fr thursday or friday i'm thinking friday okay but yeah so the following week the videos will be a little bit um different upload timings and all that but after that the next following week it should return back to the same okay so yeah that is it for this video um yeah that's basically all i have to say okay yeah, one more important thing okay um when you're using this dot method right um you have to kind of create enough okay so for those of you who haven't watched this channel yet have it never watched any of my video this is like your first video that you're watching welcome i know i'm saying quite late in the video but welcome and um okay i'm going to teach you something about what i do okay so basically this option is a layer editor right here and i've actually created two layers right so the very first layer is going to be you know your main drawing your actual nice drawing that you know, you're going to show to your friends you're going to keep it for yourself you're going to post it on instagram on twitter whatever okay it's the masterpiece now there's another layer a second layer okay that that's basically going to be the layer where you're going to measurements or guides okay now for example over here okay imagine this is going to be your second layer right now right and you want to make sure that the years are both at the same 
um, length so you're gonna draw a line like this and you know you're gonna edit it okay because for me I didn't use this layer there's just an very quick drawing okay but you're just supposed to do that okay now um this dots over here you see all these dots now they're gonna be part of the guides layer so the masterpiece um layer the actual drawing layer is only going to have the outline it's not going to have any dots um any any lines any um anything that's used to make sure the masterpiece is good okay so the masterpiece layer is just the masterpiece just the outline and its color okay the rest the dots um the this line over here to make sure they're both at the same height this length no it's going to be part of the guides layer and once you're done with the masterpiece uh, masterpiece area the layer once you have already drawn everything it looks good and everything you're going to delete that layer and you're going to create another layer that's called the aura layer and that's actually going to be like your special effects okay now it's special effects going to be the thing that you know makes it unique it's going to bring out some sort of um um uniqueness okay so yep I, that's it that's all i have to say mm, yep that's it for this video okay so i know for those of you who skipped it seems pretty short but yeah basically the main idea of the video was basically to explain this but uh, since some of you may have already known all about this okay i'm gonna recap this okay so um skill factor enlargement reduction uh basically if you're drawing on a smaller device um you have to reduce it for example if your actual image so the original thing whatever you're drawing is on a computer screen and you want to draw it on your phone you're going to, to reduce it common sense right okay okay for example pikachu is this whole screen right i'm not talking about the camera i'm talking about the whole screen okay and you want to draw it on your phone you can't draw exact you can't measure with a ruler and draw it because your phone isn't that big so you're going to reduce it now you don't actually need any value to know that you're going to reduce it or vice versa you're going to enlarge it so for example the actual image the actual original picture is on your phone and you want to draw it on your laptop or tablet then you're going to enlarge it simple yeah it's kind of it's just kind of common sense okay um but yeah that's it thanks for watching and if you're new to this channel please remember to subscribe if you like this video if this video taught you anything then please remember to like this video all right and yep yeah, i'll see you the next in the next video i hope by tuesday i get the video um the beyblade video i hope but if not i'll get it by wednesday and the pokemon video by friday or saturday okay so yep yeah, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next time.